so over in our last lecture we discussed that what are the various programming languages and we have also taken one example of addition of two numbers and we have written one assembly level program for that so all these things we have discussed today we are going to discuss integrated development environment that is IDE now if we want to develop some software for some particular application uh, for one microcontroller or for one microprocessor then we require some software tools for the development of uh, software now these software tools are called as integrated development environment what are the various tools required for the development of software first we require one editor So first we require one editor and the purpose of editor is to generate uh, assembly uh, language file. So this editor will generate a file with the extension dot asm and this is our assembly language file. So some name x y z dot asm with the extension dot asm so dot asm indicates this is assembly language file so this will be generated via a tool called as editor now once we are having a dot uh, asm file of course this file is also uh, our source file so this is our source file now what we will do we will now pass this source file from another tool and that tool is assembler so source file will be passed through one assembler and now assembler will generate two files it will generate two files one list file dot list x y z dot list now in <coughs> list file uh, basically it is used for the documentation purpose because in the list file you will find your uh, mnemonics of your program you will find the of code the hex code of your those mnemonics as well as you will find the memory addresses at which these uh, hex code has to be loaded so all the information will be there in list file so a developer can use this list file for the documentation purpose and the second file generated by this assembler is your object file object file so the extension this object file extension is dot o b j x y z is your basic source file x y z dot asm so what x y z dot list file will be generated and x y z dot o b j object file will be generated now this object file is basically your binary file so here uh, whatever uh, hexadecimal codes we are having or whatever mnemonics we have used to write our program so that mnemonics will be converted in binary form and uh, it will be available in object file now we will use another tool now this tool is linker plus locator linker plus locator now linker plus locator tool it will generate absolute file
Now what, what happened here? Uh, see, here in the object file, we have the information that these are the these are the binary code which are to be loaded in memory. But exactly at which particular memory location which code has to be loaded that information is not available in object file only the binary in the terms of machine language uh, information is available but exactly these binary values has to be loaded in what exact memory location of code memory that information is not available in object file so now here with the absolute file this locator tool basically there are two tools one is locator and one is linker the purpose of locator tool is just to uh, just to allot the memory location for your uh, binary code so with the locator the exact memory location where exactly the binary code has to be loaded in code memory will be provided so with the help of locator this information will be provided and sometimes what happened uh, suppose there are two teams working on one project so team one will develop one uh, object file uh, and team second will develop another object file and ultimately these two files has to be added so linker will do the adding of these two files so linker will add the multiple object files into single file and once we are having that single file then locator will provide the uh, memory locations for the binary value and in this way we will get we will get absolute file so this file is uh, the absolute file is generated and after this uh, the extension of absolute file is dot a b s now this absolute file is now given to another tool and that tool is called as o h now this o h means object to hexadecimal object to hexadecimal converter so this object to hexadecimal converter will finally generate a hex file with the extension hex and this file will be utilized for uh, burning your um, code memory so now suppose for now now uh, all of these tools are combined together and it is called as IDE integrated development environment so now what happened suppose you want to develop some application uh, for that what we will do and this is our PC right in our PC we are having this software and we will write the program and finally we will generate one hex file so our hex file is available in our PC now what we will do we will we will connect our ROM with this computer and this hex file will be downloaded in this ROM and if it is a controller microcontroller then this ROM is a part of microcontroller then whole microcontroller is there whole microcontroller is there so uh, hex file will be downloaded in the ROM of this microcontroller and once the hex file has been downloaded now whatever code we have written whatever program we have written that work will be now uh, done by this particular microcontroller because already our program uh, code or our application program is in this ROM so 
to develop a software we require environment development uh, integrated development environment and integrated development environment basically we have one editor the purpose of editor is to generate assembly language file with the extension .asm this is a source code source file then the source file will be passed through the assembler assembler will generate two types of file one is list file list file contains all the information regarding the mnemonic the hex code of our mnemonic and the memory locations and this led list file is used for the documentation purpose another file generated is a object file with the extension .obj and this file is a binary file and linker and locator is the next tool the purpose of locator is to allocate the memory location of ROM where exactly our the binary code which is there in object file are to be loaded then linker linker purpose is to link to join or to add multiple files together and finally now the output of linker and locator tool is absolute file and finally this absolute file will be passed through OH converter object to hex converter and this converter will convert and finally it will generate a hex file and this hex file has to be downloaded in our code memory so this is the whole process now uh, there is uh, a software MCU 51 so this is very useful software and it is open source so now you what you can do uh, you just google search and you download this MCU 51 software in your computer now once you will download this then you can write you can develop various programs you can simulate your program in this uh, tool there are virtual uh, virtual tools are available like seven segment display and uh, your LCD display LEDs are there so various uh, uh, facilities are available for the developer just to verify the functionality of the code so you just download your uh, uh, this MCO 51 this is a free software open source and in next lecture I will just demonstrate uh, how to use this MCU51 for the development of, of our software and I will also explain about uh, some of these files and what is the code memory uh, in that uh, controller all these things uh,